hello friends. Hi there, welcome to downtown Toronto. So we traded in Sadie for the weekend and uh, came downtown Toronto for a house sit. We thought while we're here, we need to catch some of the highlights. <laughs> it's a train going by. Okay, well, we gotta get a little clip of this. <laughs> yeah, we are on the train tracks. <laughs> We're down here at the Roundhouse. We have the CN Tower and the Rogers Center behind us. We're gonna do some exploring today and take you along and yeah. show you some of the highlights. If you're spending a weekend in Toronto, some of the great things to do. Sounds good to me. I haven't been to Toronto in such a long time other than, you know, to catch a flight or whichever kind of thing. So I'm like super, super excited. I think the first thing we're gonna do now is uh, head down to the waterfront. Let's do it. All right. So we came across to the Toronto Islands. There's a couple different ways to get across. Ferry. Yeah, the ferry I think was um, like a little over $9 per person and that includes your return trip. Or you can take the water taxi which is $13 per person um, each way. So much more economical taking the ferry. Yeah, it's nice that it's a round trip ticket. Um, now, Mitch mentioned the water taxi, but it was $14 if you were paying by credit card. Correct, correct. Um, and that's a one way trip yeah. per person. So the ferry is definitely the more economical way to go. And there's three different ferries. Um, so just sort of have a look, you know, Google the island. Uh, Center Island is definitely the most popular and I think has the most ferry times. Yeah. Um, kind of drops you right in the center of the island. And we have grabbed a map and we're gonna see what there is to see here. We're hoping we can rent uh, some bikes so we can get around because I think it's like maybe three or four kilometers to get across the island, I well, think. Well, it's a pretty long island. So we're on Center Island. I just saw a sign that said um, to the Ward's Dock, which another ferry goes there and to another point three kilometers that way. Yeah. So these islands, yeah, it's not a small island. I know you can also go in the other direction to some beaches. Right. Um, one of those being clothing optional. <laughs> Correct, and we're not <laughs> heading there today. And also the airport, Billy Bishop Island Airport is also a part of this island. There's there's multiple islands. They are all connected by bridges and walkways once you get here. So you just have to get from the mainland, uh, the ports in Toronto over to the island, then you can explore all the islands. Yeah, so it's called like the island or the Toronto Island, but it's actually 15 small little islands that uh, make up the Toronto Islands, which is just south of downtown Toronto. There's a super cool, iconic neighborhood on the islands as well. Yeah, like I think the population is like 700 people that um, live on the islands year round. And interesting enough, it's like North America's largest urban car free community in North America, which is yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Exactly. So the ferry we came on does not take any cars. It's pedestrian traffic yeah. only. You can bring your bicycle across. Yep. Lots of people will walk on the ferry with their bikes. But yeah, no cars here on the island. So yeah. All right. You ready? Let's do it. All right. There's tons of green space on this island. So honestly, pack a picnic and you could picnic. There is just acres of beautiful green space and parkland. 
Okay, here's a fun fact. So the Toronto Islands used to be a peninsula connected to the mainland, but a storm back in 1858 transformed the peninsula into the islands. Okay, so right behind us is the Centerville as amusement park. We're not actually heading in the amusement park. We don't have any little ones with us today. Um, however, if you're here with your kids, definitely something to check out. There's like Ferris wheels, there's all kinds of rides. There's some kind of chairlift, which we're not quite sure of, yeah. uh, but seems really, really cool. Very popular. It looks like a lot of kids headed that way. Also some snacks over there. I saw a Beaver Tails house and there's Subway um, back at the ferry terminal. Yep. We've already passed washrooms and tons of people with picnic yeah. baskets and coolers, coolers who are gonna have a picnic. Right, so we got the two-person quadricycle. <laughs> oh my god, it's the goofiest looking bike I've ever ridden in my life. But it is fun, it's got a little steering wheel. We got the brake right here. <laughs> Room and for our bags. The only instructions are, this is the brake, and don't go over bridges. Oh, oh, Mitch is picking it up a notch. Oh, oh I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a, cold beverage after all this work. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> rentals. Kayak rentals? Yes, you can rent kayaks and stand up paddle boards. There is parts of the water that go between the islands, so it's very nice and peaceful and easy for kayaking or riding your stand up paddle board. We are now entering the neighborhoods. So we're sort of going into Ward Island. <laughs> Hey babe, just... All the residential homes are just over here. We're trying to decide whether or not we can take our... Quadricycle. Quadricycle <laughs> down the sort of sidewalk path. I'd like to see a quadricycle come out of there. Well, there before. are no signs saying no quadricycles. Yeah, and the only rule was to not take them over bridges. And this is a very wide sidewalk. Yeah. I think we do it. Like, we just beg for forgiveness if we're wrong. Again, Toronto skyline is across the water, but still... Quite hazy. This is a very little eclectic uh, village here. It really is. Okay, let's go to the left. It's so unique. This is, yeah, not what I expected and really, really cool. I expected all of the houses to be high end, like a very posh neighborhood. <laughs> and it's very beautiful, just not what I expected. Exactly. Small cottages from like the 50s and they literally just still look the same and they're so pretty. So like we mentioned, the island does have a lot of residential inhabitants. So they have their own fire station. Pretty cool. It's Toronto Fire Station number 48. And I seem mm. to be doing more pedaling than Jan for some reason. I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these bikes may not be like super sexy or anything, but they get you around the island a lot faster than you would be able to if you were walking. And it just started to sprinkle and who's staying dry? <laughs> these two right here. Okay, so it started raining and we got a little wet, so we uh, didn't want to wait for the ferry. It was going to be another 40 minutes. So uh, we're on the pirate uh, pontoon boat taking us across. Nothing like the good old pirate taxi. Okay, folks, <laughs> we're back. Um, we are headed to a couple different neighborhoods in Toronto. So if you're staying in Toronto, you might want to visit these. We're going to take you along. We've also decided to rent some e-bikes, orange and black bikes everywhere. We got the app, we've downloaded them. We've chosen e-bikes. It's about a 10 minute cycle to Kensington Market from where we're staying, which is 
right downtown. Not sure if we mentioned before. We are like CN Tower is right there. We are about a block from the Rogers Center on Blue Jays Way. So we're headed to Kensington. Yeah, and the sun came out I and know. it's uh, beautiful right now. Yeah, so we're gonna start off on this adventure. Wish us luck. <laughs> So we just walked a few streets of Kensington Market. It's very much hippie, hippie, yeah. hippie artsy, fartsy, think vintage clothing, old bookstores, yeah. used things, eateries. I mean, there's lots of yeah, tons of restaurants and bars and, and all of that too, kind of stuff. But sorry guys, we missed the iconic car. There's an iconic car in Kensington Market. It's like... It's been here for I think like 16 or 17 years and it's parked from like May to November and there's plants growing out of it <laughs> and... We're actually gonna go and we're gonna grab two more bikes. Yeah. And we're gonna head to another part of town. I'm ready, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're here at Nathan Phillips Square. Yeah, we've made our way down to the iconic Toronto sign that's here behind us with the town. Yeah, yes. And behind us is the new city hall. And old city hall in the courthouse is a much older, beautiful building behind us. So yeah, this square is just sort of a little mix of everything. In the winter time, yeah. this becomes a skating rink, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so there's not much going on here today, except a lot of tourists and people checking out and getting their pictures with the sign. Um, so. I think we're just gonna walk around and see what else there is yeah. to see. Yeah, one of the great things to do when you're in Toronto is come down, check out Nathan Phillips Square, For sure. see what's going on day or night. Okay, we just walked into the Eaton Center and of course, they're having an epic time here on a Sunday. We walked into a full on live drag show. Dancing, music, the vibe is high here in the <laughs> center on a Sunday. No, but honestly, this is a huge shopping center. It's massive. I think there's like a little under 250 stores. You've got all your iconic stores here. It's a beautiful building with a beautiful glass ceiling that stretches sort of the length of the whole Eaton Center. It's multi-story. And as we have shown you today, even on a Sunday, always something going on. Yep, and it's pretty packed. Very yeah, busy. so even if you don't want to go shopping, the Eaton Center is just always sort of entertaining or walk around a window shop or yeah. grab some stuff to eat from the food court or just sure. dip in to cool off when it's a bit warm. It's nice and air conditioned in here and it is really a lovely shopping mall. Really so is. it's definitely something to do when you're downtown Toronto. Let's go check it out. All right. We're in Young and Dundas Square. It's sort of the Times Square of Toronto. Right, with all the screens and all the action. And There's a lot really going cool. on. To be honest, and you can tell us if we're wrong, but this is like way more exciting than Nathan Phillips Square, yes. at least today. Yes. Maybe if there's something going on in Nathan Phillips Square, Nathan Phillips Square is amazing, but Nathan Phillips Square was just meh today. Yeah. But I feel that it is always vibing here. Look at the stage. at my watch here and it looks like it's wine time and uh, we've had a great recommendation from okay. our great buddy Pascal. Jack Astor has an outstanding patio up there. Oh my gosh look it's I all up there too. Wow I think we should try okay. and go there. I'm down I'm thirsty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well we are here in Toronto's distillery district. It's a historic district and it is beautiful. It's full of all these old buildings from the 1800s. Um, there is about 10 streets and there's, I don't know, like there's a lot of historic buildings. The place is just so cool. It is filled with different shops 
and a lot of eateries and patios. And one thing that I did read about here is that there are no chains, so no big chain stores or restaurants allowed. So everything you see around here is sort of like local breweries, restaurants, and gift shops. So it's a great place to come and it's absolutely beautiful what they've done in here. It's a super cool vibe. Um, so I think we're gonna find a place to um, with a patio with a vibe. After enjoying a refreshing cocktail, we hopped on some bikes to get us back to our condo so we could walk and cuddle some pups. All right, good afternoon. So we're at the CN Tower. Yeah, it's the next day. Yesterday we left you in the distillery district. This morning it is beautiful and clear. This is the day we've been waiting yep. for. Um, so we have tickets. We did reserve online. Okay. And uh, cost-wise was $55 a person and that included the extra, I think, $10 to get to the top observation zone, which is a couple hundred feet higher than the main observation zone. All right, let's get inside and make sure we get in the queue. So we pre-purchased tickets for the CN Tower for a time slot at 12.30. Wandered over here pretty nonchalantly, mm -hmm. 15 minutes ahead of time, <laughs> only to find this gigantic line that we need to stand in. It's moving pretty fast, so I'm yeah. confident we'll be uh, up the tower in no time. Okay, update, we made it. That huge long line only took 12 minutes. We're through security, our tickets have been scanned, and we're on our way to the top. We're currently traveling at a speed of 22 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour. It takes us 58 seconds to get to the main observation level. And our way of this is the view of the north side of Turno. The main observation level is 346 meters above ground, 1136 feet. This is the 114th story of this building. This is the highest observation deck in the Western Hemisphere at 1,465 feet up. Pretty high. Where are we going, Jan? We're going to 360 because it's too thirsty. Alright, so you can't just come up for a drink, you have to come up and spend a minimum of $75 per person and it's a four course meal, so we're going to head back down. Alright, so we just finished our CN Tower tour and it was absolutely amazing. It was really great. We spent about an hour and a half up there. Um, a lot, there is some time that you spend waiting in lines. Yeah. You could certainly spend a lot more time up there. Uh, we did look into the 360 restaurant because we thought we'd go up there and have a glass of wine, but it's not a beverages only kind of restaurant. <laughs> yeah, so instead, we're gonna head to the harbor front. Let's see if we can uh, snag a nice outdoor table and a cold beverage. Another really fun thing to do if you're here in Toronto, especially if you come with kids, but you also don't need to come with kids, is to visit Ripley's Aquarium. It sits right beside the CN Tower. It is incredible. We have been in it before. Uh, I don't know the ticket prices, but definitely something to check out. It is top-notch aquarium right here in downtown Toronto. So this is the one thing that Toronto could absolutely maybe do a little bit better or improve. And that is when you are going from anywhere that is like downtown, Union Station, Sky Dome, Financial District, any of the squares we've been at, to get to the harbor front, we must go under 
the not so aesthetically pleasing Gardner Expressway and it just feels sketchy and I feel like you can't take the highway away and we need it but couldn't we doll it up a little bit some artwork some something some greenery some flowers because this just looks sketchy hoping for a seat right on the patio in the sunshine We are headed home from the waterfront. If you are in Toronto and you like to get your exercise, one of the best ways to get around besides walking is using these tangerine bikes. You've been using them all weekend. Like the cycling um, scene in downtown Toronto is amazing. There's so many uh, spots to pick up your bike, to drop them off. Mm -hmm. It's actually so affordable and it's still a great way to get exercise and just get around much quicker. And there's a ton of bike lanes and all the busy traffic spaces yeah. so it's really quite safe and we have decided it's hot and we're gonna bike back to the condo from the waterfront let's go, let's go. There's two airports in Toronto. There's Billy Bishop on the island, and there is the massive Toronto Pearson. And also, obviously, you can always drive. It was a nice little break from van life. We had nice, hot, constant showers, which were nice. Um, yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was, it was nice, nice to be break. in the city again. It was nice to be sort of in a condo again. So really good option um, is the house sitting option because that's what we did. Yeah. So when you don't have to pay for accommodations, especially in a big city like Toronto, wow, it's, it's an actually really affordable yeah. weekend. Anyway, we're headed back to Sadie. Yeah, so hope you loved the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, hope to see you in our next videos. For now, cheers. Cheers. Be free. Be free. Yeah.